Today I am in Goodwill in Mankato, Minnesota. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. Good prices so far. terrible. kind of like that pot. I like that it has a saucer. Four bucks, not a bad price for it. And it's like glazed terracotta. This is cute. I wouldn't keep the stuff in it, but I do like the bird cage. Ooh, nine dollars. And I don't want to dump it. What are these? I have never seen these. What are they? Oh my gosh. Pier one. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I love them. And I think you saw that they're $2.99. That's not bad. Oh, these are also pier one. Those are seven. That's too much for my budget. These kind of go with the plates that Maddie found in a donate bin in her apartment building and we use them literally every day. I don't think they're quite exactly the same, but I might get them. Oh, I've got a little Sherman hair stuck in my ring. You see that? <laughs> I might get these to go with my plates because the only um, full size plates I have are my Mikasa and they're really heavy. I mean, these might be heavy too, but at least they go with the other plates. I just, I really like them. This would be really fun for like 4th of July because I think the idea is that you put ice, you can put ice down here and then it keeps whatever's here cold so you could use like a veggie dip or whatever. And that would be cute if you uh, hosted, you know, 4th of July barbecue or something. Um, along those same lines. I don't have plans to host. If you did, that would be cool. Little honey pot. These are fun. I have I don't know if I have this pattern. I do have plain ones. They just don't sell for me. And I don't use those in my kitchen. But if someone was looking to collect those, that's a good price. $1.99. Oh, I like these. Straight 
They're all very mugs. That one's all scratched. If I can find one in good shape, I might get one. So these have scratches on the outside, it looks like. Scratches on the inside. So these have been well loved. <laughs> that one's not terrible. Let's check the last one. Not bad. That one has those outside scratches. I'm gonna think about it. for the set. I like that. And they have holes on the bottom. They don't feel like they'll stand up to the elements very well. Hmm. I do like them. For bananas. Hmm, I don't know. A single hook. We could totally make like a really cute 4th of July barbecue table. <laughs> That's adorable. This holds down your napkins so they don't blow. It's a weighted piece. It's a piece of metal. flimsy they're plastic and this is plastic but from a distance they're all right
Okay, the furniture is like wiped out. I'll just show you a little panoramic here. I don't know what's happening, but there's really no furniture. <laughs> there's some big artwork, but no furniture. Strange. There's the lamps, also not too many. Ooh, that's cute. Little birdhouse lamp or garden house lamp. Oh, there's a bird on it. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. Totally would get dusty, but it's cute. It's a cute concept. Hard to keep clean. Someone definitely got rid of their collection of primitive house artwork. <laughs> There's a barn. I don't love it. I have to be real choosy because my barn wall is pretty full. Not many spaces left. This is cute. I think it's supposed to look like a chocolate mold. Here in the baskets aisle. You can tell a lot about a Goodwill by the way they price their baskets. Okay, that's not terrible. But when they go $6.99 or $8.99 on every basket, and you're like, nah, time to go. <laughs> $4.99, that's fair. That's a nice one for $3.99. You could even take that off, I bet. If you didn't want it to be like, oh no, maybe you could cover it if you didn't want it to be like a scarecrow, which I guess makes more fall. This is sweet. Someone's old Easter basket with bow. <laughs> This is not Tupperware. It's like pre-Tupperware. Hmm. Some empty shelves here too. Kind of weird. Another load of these glasses. I wonder if I need any more. Hmm. I can't remember if I have. I might only have eight. I definitely. Oh, these are the nice. These are the big ones. <gasps> Oh, hard to store though, you know. Why does anyone store special dishes for special occasions anymore? I guess in my hutch somewhere, but if you're only going to use them a few times a year, maybe it's not worth it. Hello, I hope you enjoyed coming with me thrifting at the Goodwill in Mankato, Minnesota. Really quickly, I want to ask that if you're not subscribed already, if you would consider hitting that subscribe button below my video. I think now the button is white. Is that true? I think it's white. Maybe it's red still. I don't know. But if you hit the subscribe button, um, it doesn't cost you anything and it's super helpful for me um, and my channel. 
So thank you for considering that. So this is the second video of the day when I went down to Mankato to go thrifting. I had an appointment down there and so went down and I treated myself to a day of thrifting. Chris was in Germany at the time on a business trip. So I was like, hmm, nothing else to do. <laughs> no one's at home so I mean Molly lives here but she works full-time and she's not here so yeah I was like well why not because I had to take the day anyway for to take care of my appointment down there so um I decided to give myself a day of thrifting and it was super fun so the first video is last week's video and um so I went to Mankato and I also went to St. Peter Mankato is south of St. Peter so from where I live you hit St. Peter first and then Mankato. So I went down to Mankato, did my appointment, went thrifting down there, came back to St. Peter Thrift. But I included the St. Peter Thrift video in last week's. It was just easier. Like Goodwill is kind of sometimes its own, its own beast. <laughs> so I let it stand alone. And then the other thrift stores are in the video from last week. So also full disclosure, I am filming this before Easter. However, by the time you see it, it will be after Easter. That's just the way sometimes when I do a big day of thrifting and it produces like more than one video, then I get a little behind on my publishing. So you'll see this after Easter, but I, it's still before Easter for me. So, and that will make sense once I show you the things that I got. Okay. So let's start with the glasses. I did get four of these glasses. They were $1.99 each. And I already have, um, oh, did I, I don't know if it's focusing. I can't really see. There's a glare. Um, you've seen this pattern before, I'm sure. Uh, it's pretty, pretty common. But I have like eight or 10 of these. And I only bring them out for Christmas, Easter, you know, all the Thanksgiving, all the big holidays where we have like a big group meal. And um, yeah, I really like those water goblets because you saw in the video they had the water goblets too. But um, if I had found the water goblets like years ago when I found my first set of these, then I probably would have picked up the water goblets instead. But I only ever saw these until this trip. Like that's the first time I saw the water goblets. And I was like, you know what? For the number of times, whoops, for the number of times that we use them, I didn't want to spend like $25 to $30 on this thrift trip to like get water goblets that I could use instead of the wine. So I think that's what these are. But anyway, so I was like, I like them. I don't like them enough to spend that kind of money. So I left those behind and just picked up four to increase the number that I have um, of these. Here's the table. And this is my little DIY that I made with thrifted things and then these were all thrifted these little plates I only ever found four of them but I'll keep an eye out for the next year because I think they're so pretty like the Easter colors are totally pretty and like same with that so and so I didn't have enough so I used jadeite these are really um saucers but we're just going to use them as bread plates who cares it's just meant to look pretty and then my glasses you've seen those so yeah super happy okay then I got these bunny plates. By the way, everything I'm showing you today, everything's for me. Uh, you know, sometimes it's like that. <laughs> so I got these bunny plates. They were $2.99 for me. There's two of them. They're originally from Pier 1. I guess they were originally $7.99 a piece. And I just think they are so beautiful. I've never seen these before. And I just think they're gorgeous. Um, so I am going to put these in my hutch before Easter, but then I'm going to let them just be there for spring. Cause I think that with the flowers and stuff there, it's just a very spring motif. And I think that'll be really pretty. Love them. Okay, here we are at my hutch and I have placed the plates. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Just have them in little plate stands. I pick up these plate stands whenever I find them at garage sales. Sorry, I'm a doggy scratching her ear. Um, whenever I find them at garage sales or the bins or thrift stores for a good price, I will pick them up because they're just great to have for decor. And while I'm here, I'll just show you the rest of the hutch. So I told you it's still before Easter. So I went very minimal this year um, just because Easter is so early. 
So I kind of put things out that I could keep out that aren't like Easter, you know, that I could kind of keep out for spring. So these were a gift to me, I think from Clay Ramage, if you've ever watched his videos. I believe that's who gave those to me. I just thought this looked so cute, like a little bunch of them in a jadeite. And I don't think I did anything different here. This is the same as the last time you saw. But yeah, and then here, this guy, he was here, but since it's Easter, there you go. There's my jadeite bunny. Love the display here. Super happy with it. And it's not like, I don't have to change it. You know, I can keep it until I'm ready to go summer. Actually, I don't really do much in here for, for summer, to be honest. Summer decor is not like a thing for me, but I'll put patriotic things on the porch or a little shelf, but I don't really change everything. Yeah, super happy with it. Okay, back to the video. So there was no way those were getting left behind, that's for sure. Then kind of along those same lines, I did actually pick up the four blue plates. So my daughter, Maddie, um, she lives in an apartment building, which you might have seen, you might have seen on my other channel. And she had gotten for us four blue, maybe there's six, I think it's more than four, blue plates, clear glass blue plates, similar to this. I think they have like, um, they have a design on the edge, so it's not the same exact, but they're similar. And I use those blue plates literally every day, every single day, that's what I eat out of. And then I have my Mikasa plates, which are the ones I've been looking for, and I found one in last or two weeks ago, whenever that was. Um, Mikasa plates, those are kind of like our, you know, big dinner plates, but um, they're kind of heavy. <laughs> if you've ever eaten off a Mikasa plate, they're kind of heavy. And so a lot of times I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to hold because a lot of times we'll eat in the living room and watch Star Trek and I don't want to hold a big dinner plate. So um, I thought these would be nice. I'm going to take, I'm going to open them up. They are scratched, but the glass gets scratched. Like I was looking at my blue plates that I have from Maddie and they're scratched too, but they still look pretty. Um, so yeah, and these are, these are not as heavy as the Mikasa. So I thought for everyday use, since we like those blue plates so much, I'm going to take the Mikasa plates out because they don't get used very often and put these in and I will put all my Mikasa plates in my hutch. Um, yeah, for like dinner that, and really I like the Mikasa plates for dinners, um, big dinners because, well, first of all, they're dishwasherable because I have China, but you can't dishwasher it which is a pain. And, um, I like them cause they're white or like, you know, they're not bright white, but they're a color of white. And so it's a great color. You can do any holiday with them. So they're great plates to have for that purpose, but for everyday use, I think I'm going to like these better. So those will be getting dishwashered and then put into my cabinet. Okay. Then the other thing I got, I did get, um, ah! whoa, oh, it goes like this. That's why that's happening. <laughs> you can tell by the hook. I got this pretty frame. I just thought it was pretty, really. It was $2.99, which I thought was a very good price on a frame at Goodwill. And then I got a mug. Now, full disclosure, I think I got this at the Mankato Goodwill. Uh, and you'll know by the time you watch this video, was this in the footage, but it was kind of randomly in the back of my car. And I know I got it at a Goodwill in the last, in the cluster of days around, um, when I went to Mankato cause I was thrifting. Um, so hopefully it's a Mankato item, <laughs> but I haven't edited the footage yet to know. So you'll know. I won't. Anyway. Okay. So that is all that I got at the Mankato Goodwill, I think. I feel like I got more, but I guess not. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.